So, have you ever been to a place where the pictures do the place no justice? Today we are in Porto Heli, Greece, and we are exploring Nikki Beach. Nikki Beach is one of the first luxury beach party hotels in the world and anywhere you find Nikki Beach is basically one of the top locations in the world and we are in Porto Heli so that tells you about the history of this place it's one of the top locations in the country um, Porto Heli has um, a lot of rich affluent Greek people who come here to holiday with their family and so on it's not so much of a touristy place for you know people from the UK America and so on although maybe recently there's been a few you know international people but it's predominantly um, rich Greek people who come here to holiday so before the likes of Mykonos and Santorini this used to be the go-to place for Greek and here we are having the time of our lives and soaking the sun with our fellow Greek people. <laughs> so it's 10 a.m. and we're about to head out to the poolside and the beach, but I'm sure you guys want a room tour, right? All right, let's give you guys a room tour. All right, so welcome to our room here in Nikki Beach Resort, Potter Heli. Follow me. First thing first, we actually had a nice, well, I had a nice little message left. Um, here by the hotel, and me on my arrival. So as you enter the room, as you can see, everything here is white. I love white. Greece has a thing with um, white decor. And you know, if you've seen pictures from like Mykonos Santorini, you know, the white decor with the blue skies, it really goes well. This room is a massive room. I ordered a superior double room, I think it was. Um, two nights here, cost us 582 pounds for two nights. We have a massive bed over here, which I believe is a king size. It sleeps two, it could probably sleep three if we wanted to, but there's only two of us. Um, to the side of the bed, we have a, I love this. This is such a nice touch, bamboo effect. It's got very, very rustic effect. Um, yeah, bamboo. Uh, we have a little side chest of drawer and plugs. Um, one thing to remember about this place is that because we're obviously in Europe, they have European plugs. So do you remember to bring your adapters if you're coming to stay here? Very much needed. We also have a lamp, nice lovely lamp. I love this headboard thing, you can call it. Lights up um, at night time. The ambience here is very nice. So all the lights go off and you have these lights illuminated. Gives you a very, very nice vibe here at night time. So if we spin around to this side, we have what you call the TV area. You know what, I've never been to a hotel room that actually um, offers you a subwoofer. So we have a subwoofer here too. We can actually play loud music if, if you wanted to. As long as our neighbors don't complain, I think that should be fine. Um, mirrors, love mirrors, obviously. Mrs. Love mirrors. You can use this for um, her makeup and stuff and whatnot. But um, moving on swiftly from the TV side. So there's a lot of cupboard space in this place. Um, we have a lot of cupboards. Um, in here, there's a lot of cupboard space. We keep in our Shoes and bags, Mrs. bags. Um, we got, you know, our toiletries and everything in here. Things that don't actually need to be in the bathroom. We have them in here. And this one, the top. Yeah, Mrs. has a um, more makeup stuff in here. And on this side, we um, kept a bit of the pillow. They gave us a, too much pillows in this place, so we kept some of the pillows here. And Mrs. has a beach bag here and dirty clothes there. Now, the mini bar, it is stocked to the brim. <laughs> stocked to the brim. A lot of things, there's champagne, there's wine, there's, you know, Coke, your normal soft drink, there's energy drink, there's juices, there's literally everything, and obviously, water. So water is complimentary here. They give you as many as you want. You can also call down reception and ask for more water if you want to. 
But yeah, you will never run out of things to drink here if you're into those type of things. And obviously here we have the um, amenities for making your tea and coffee if you're into that. I don't drink tea or coffee. So we spin over to this side and we have probably what is the most beautiful bathroom slash toilet I've ever stayed in. Like seriously, it's, it's really nice. Come over guys. Actually, you know what, stand here, show the view from here. So, I mean, yeah, it's see-through. You can see the bathroom from the living room or the bedroom and vice versa. Beautiful, we have a very nice big bath, which we actually haven't used yet. I don't know if we're gonna have time to use this, but um, yeah, massive, massive bath. If you're into baths, you know, yeah, this is the place for it. Like I said, it's see-through. You can see over into the bedroom and also onto the balcony, which we're gonna take you guys there in a sec. Literally, this bathroom is huge. <laughs> huge, you've got his and hers, basin. Um, comes with a lot of um, towels, um, toiletries, you know, you've got your soap, um, toothpaste, you know, um, washing liquid. Literally everything that you need, you can actually find here. Um, yeah, and also massive, massive mirror. Obviously for the base when she's doing her makeup. Also got a small mirror here for when she's also doing her makeup. But yeah, I mean, what do you think about this space? The bathroom is very nice. There's a hairdryer. There's a hairdryer, I didn't even know. So apparently there's a hairdryer. Yes, there is hairdryer in here. So they cater for women in this place because <laughs> they know <laughs> they've got a massive pool down there. So they know that women will definitely need a hairdryer once they come back from the pool. Um, yeah. And then if you spin down this way, you have what you call the shower area. Also pretty big, it can, I guess you can, you know, three or more people can stay here. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then move over to this side and you have behind the sliding doors, the toilet. Also a massive toilet. Yeah, you can definitely do your business here and feel at peace with yourself. But yeah, um, I think that's it for the room. We're gonna take you out to the balcony Ooh. and show you the views from out there. Let's go. So in my opinion, we probably had the best room slash views from this hotel. We were on the third floor, which is the highest floor in terms of residency. Our room was right in the middle of the hotel. So it therefore came with amazing views of the bay and of the hotel beachfront. So now that the room tour is over, we are going to head downstairs to the pool and explore what Nikki Beach has to offer. Greece in the summer is not for the faint hearted. It was roughly 1pm and the temperature at this time of the day was easily in the very upper 40s. After having one or two drinks and dipping in the infinity pool, we quickly headed back to our room to return again later during the day when the temperature had cooled. And then we're back again. So <laughs> you may notice that we're actually wearing different clothes right now, different outfits now. That is because the first time we came down, we went straight to the pool and relaxed. That is probably the best thing to do when you're out here yeah. on Nicky Beach. You have to relax. So we're now gonna show you guys all the things that they have in this place starting from this passage so this passage leads right onto the main street if you're actually not staying at Nikki Beach you don't actually have to go through the main entrance you can actually take this passage and this passage leads you from the main street onto the beach which we're going to take you guys there right now <music> So, apart from the beautiful beach club and the pool, they also have a spa area here. So, if you're into spa and if you're into your fitness, then this is definitely one place to check out. They also, if you flip around, have an outdoor gym. So, you know, if you want to flex those muscles, for the people that have muscles, there is an outdoor gym here. So, we have these lovely cabinets which are right in front of the beach and free to use. What we also have is the VIP cabanas, which are right by the poolside, which cost 250 euros to use, plus drinks and food that you, you know, want to order. So, whether you're feeling tired and you need a massage, or you're just in the mood for a nice massage, they have this beautiful massage section, 
massage parlor. They have two cabanas which actually cater for the massages. So there's the one behind me. And there's also this one. I'm not sure what the prices are, but I'm sure it is not that expensive. So that is also something that you can do here at Nikki Beach. So right here is the outdoor seating area of the restaurant. Of course, you can sit inside for your food if you want, or you can sit out here if you want. Now this place serves breakfast. Breakfast is included in all bookings, but for lunch and dinner, it's a separate cost. You can go half board or full board, depending on what you want, or you can just order your food separately and eat from here. How much does it cost to stay in Nikki Beach Resort, you ask? Well, the prices actually do differ depending on which location you're at. So in Nikki Beach, Porto Heli, the cheapest room at this current moment, we are in, today is the 30th of July, so literally at the end of July into August. At this current moment, the cheapest room in Nikki Beach, Porto Heli is 230 pounds for the standard room. There's four different types of rooms in this place. So you have the standard room. So the standard room view is actually onto the main road, so you don't actually get to see the sea. And then you have the room we're staying in, which is a sort of a more bigger room, which is mainly for family. So you know, if you're coming with a bigger family, then someone like us, then yeah, that's something ideal. to go to. Very ideal. After that room, you have the shared pool room. So there's, I think there's about six, six different villas and they all share a single pool. And the room after that is, you know, your creme de la creme rooms where you have your own private pool. So like I said, the prices do range. It's from 230, which will be the cheapest. And obviously depending on your budget and which room you go for, yeah, the prices can shoot up. So the hotel was a lot quieter from like Monday to Thursday, I would say. We arrived on Wednesday early morning and yeah, it was fine. There was no noise whatsoever. But Friday night, no, Thursday night, that's what it was. Thursday night, they had a, an event, a party, someone famous from Mykonos, um, one of the famous DJs from Mykonos. And we were on the floor right below the club or should I say rooftop where all the party happens and it was very loud I would say the party ended at three so if you're one of those people who can't sleep through the slightest noise that floor is definitely not for you you might want to go a couple of floors below below us but um, quite apart from that the hotel was brilliant but I would say the noise is something to keep up for if, if um, you're staying here on a weekend unless you don't mind if you're part of the party you definitely won't mind. <laughs> Food here is great. I love the um, the food at the beach club. It's very nice that and tasty. Yeah, we've had some really nice, um, affordable food. Like for what the, for the start of the hotel that it is, the food is very affordable. Like you got a club sandwich and wedges for like sixteen euros, yeah. and I got a um, seafood spaghetti for like twenty four euros, and that's very affordable, right? Right, um, and very tasty as well, should I say? Um, but I would say last night when we had dinner, that was uh, quite expensive. That was quite expensive. <laughs> it was a tasting menu, and we weren't told that, so we don't know that. We didn't really realise you had to order like bits of, you know, like a tapas basically. We didn't know that you had to order loads of different small um, food in order to be filled up. So we probably got between us like three plates and we thought, wait, what's going on here? Is that it? <laughs> I hopefully have a picture to show you what that looks like. But um, that was, food, it was very nice, I would it say. Was, was very, very nice. But um, not filling, obviously, because we didn't order enough. But also on the expensive side, I would say. Yeah. Um, In-room service probably is a better choice and cheaper choice compared to um, dining at the restaurant. But it, all in all, it was lovely. And the in-room service is 24 hours. Isn't yeah, it's 24 hours. It's really good. But the food, mwah, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Babe, this is not Italy. <laughs> oh yeah. Beautiful, <laughs> though. <laughs> so hello, guys, and welcome to the beachfront of Nikki Beach Resort in Porto Heli, Greece. 
Islands. We're currently in the sea and we're going to show you a type of water activities you can do in this place. So behind us you might be able to see paddling board and behind that you might be able to see a guy and behind him or next to him you see a lot of paddles and little boats so they have little boats that you can actually rent out and go out into out the sea, into the sea. Yeah. oh they also do you might be able to see in the distance there are some kids on a floating being pulled by uh, a little boat so yeah you can also do that now prices here can range from between 20 euros which is for paddles <laughs> and then it can go up to about 100 if you want to get one of the big boats to go out into the sea mm -hmm. so we're gonna spin around and show you guys the creme de la creme the reason why people come to Nikki Beach in the first place is their swimming pools and they have one of the best infinity swimming pools in this place so the reason why most people come to Nikki Beach in the first place is because of their stunning pool and this pool is no exception to that got such a nice vibe here and I think that's why most people like to come here it's um it's got like that daytime party vibe but the music is not so loud so just the right um level of right, right, right level of volume for you to even sleep if you want to on some of the day beds but it's uh, such a vibe and we are loving it at the moment yeah. so with that said we've actually spent two nights here at Nikki Beach Porto Heli. We are checking out of this place unfortunately right now but we're making our way to another hotel which you know what I'm not gonna tell you yeah you know you just you you see it on another video if we post a separate video that you see it on a, another video coming out or if you post it in the same video then yeah I guess you see it in about a few seconds so peace hope you enjoyed Nikki Beach with us hope it was very informative and come back again Share this video, like it, you know what to do. Peace. We're gonna swim a bit more and then head out of here. Say bye babe. Bye bye. She's she's trying to swim away but you know she can't swim, she's just floating away. <laughs> Float away. <laughs>